Hello chaps, welcome to John Robson Guitar Tuition once again, as always I do hope you're well. Now then, today we're going to be taking a look at this guitar, the Harley Benton MS60 CA Limited Edition, which is Harley Benton's kind of tip of the hat to a Fender Mustang. But it actually reminds me of a different Fender guitar more than anything else. Back in 1984, as a sticky-fingered 17-year-old, the first Fender guitar I ever played belonged to a friend of mine at college, a lad called Mick, who owned a Fender Music Master, uh, which was like a fixed bridge, single pickup version of the Mustang. Um, you actually, you actually could get a, a twin pickup version of it called the Duo Sonic, and then when you got like the uh, the tremolo on it, it was the uh, Mustang. And uh, Mick's Music Master had had a DiMaggio humbucker chiselled into the back end of it and it was a bit ropey to be honest with you but it was a real Fender and just the thrill of being in the same room as an actual Fender guitar back in 1984 in the UK was it was quite an event and I actually got to play on it and that was like you know it was a bit of an experience to be honest um, so yeah this guitar kind of makes me feel quite nostalgic so what we're going to do first of all is take a look at the specs of this guitar what it is you're actually getting if you choose to buy one uh, then we're going to discuss the fit and finish and you know the quality of it and then finally we're going to hear some sounds and then I'll tell you how much it costs so here's the specs if you choose to buy one of these guitars what you will be getting is a basswood body and a Canadian maple neck a rosewood fretboard these guitars were built before they started using the heat treated maple as a rosewood substitute you get 22 medium frets and up at the top end there is a graphite nut powering the guitar you will find a pair of Wilkinson single coil pickups the scale length is a quite short 24 inches and the whole thing is finished off in a fetching shade of candy apple red with racing stripes. Right, one thing I forgot to mention there in those specs is, as you can see, uh, we have a tunematic style bridge and a stop tailpiece, which has nothing at all to do with Fender really, does it? It's more obviously a Gibson thing, but I just think it adds to the sort of quirky coolness of it. Um, these guitars, and when I say these guitars, I mean the Fender, Mustang, Duo Sonic, Music Master, they were intended as student guitars, and that therefore they've got this shorter 24 inch scale length. And uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. But the general fit and finish of this guitar is really rather good, apart from the fact that it's a bit dusty. <laughs> um, the uh, finish on this is absolutely stunning. You've got a real kind of gold metal flake underneath that translucent um, red finish. Um, I don't know how well this is coming across on camera, but trust me, it is really rather nice. And I do like this touch up here, you know, that the headstock finished in the matching colour. That really works well for me. Um, the neck is it's a fairly standard feeling fender type neck I guess you'd probably call it something akin to the modern C profile a nice happy medium neck that's comfortable basically uh, really well cut nut um, action is low to medium uh, you could probably get it down a little bit lower if uh, that was your desire but it's it's fine the way it is um, Intonation sounds really good. I haven't checked it on a tune yet. I've just done that thing that uh, we always tend to do, just go up and play. Well, I always just take a D chord and move it up an octave and uh, give it a strum, and it seems fine. Um, yeah, it works. We've got uh, two switches here, uh, just essentially on-off switches for the pickups. So, you know, you can't sort of flick um, quickly from one pickup to another. You've got to switch one off and want another one on like that and a master volume and a master tone control it's a very very simple guitar in terms of its layout and controls and everything which is ideal if you're building a guitar aimed at the student market now um, one of the things that I notice when I'm teaching 
younger children to play the guitar is that the parents will often go out and buy them one of those uh, three quarter size guitars and if you're a parent looking to buy a guitar for your young child then don't get one of those they're really not very good at all um, you'd be much better off getting something like this which is just that little bit smaller and more manageable um, the, the, the real kind of three quarter uh, guitars they just don't hold the tuning very well and they're, they're essentially toys really I, I find for the, well the ones I've tried certainly are so there you have the specifications and the fit and finish let's have a listen to what this guitar sounds like <laughs> what it sounds like um, before we talk about the sounds I'll just mention that you know I'm a big lad I'm six foot seven and 17 stone um, at no point when I was playing this rather small guitar with a 24 inch scale length did I feel cramped or have that experience that I'm sure we all had as kids when we nicked our little cousin's bike you know where you're pedaling away with your knees up around your chin it never kind of felt like that it's a comfortable guitar um, so let's talk about the sounds I mean that clean sound on the bridge pickup is perfect for 
like 60s style jangly sort of stuff you could easily break into um, something like Ticket to Ride or something on that um, the middle position on the um, crunch sound if I'd had more time I would have tuned to Open G and started breaking out the Keith Richards riffs because it's just a perfect sound for that kind of thing neck pickup on the crunch sound pure Texas blues I thought you know, there's a, a good collection of sounds in this guitar. I mean, admittedly, the, the high gain sounds were a little bit generic, but still usable. And if that's the sort of thing you're going to go for, then just drop a hot rails into the back end of it. Um, a very credible set of sounds, as I say. And, you know, you've got a guitar that looks cool. It's well put together. It's set up nicely, plays well, and it sounds good. Let's talk about how much this guitar cost. This guitar costs the same as this pair of bathroom scales. Now, I've always thought that the one thing missing from a set of bathroom scales was a Wi-Fi connection. I've often wondered how long it would be before someone would make a set of bathroom scales that you could connect to the internet. And now, somebody's finally spotted that gap in the market and it's arrived. But on balance, I'd rather pay £86 for another guitar. Frankly, it's not even a close run choice, to be honest with you. You know, if you're looking for um, a cheap guitar as your first guitar, especially if you're a, a small person, or if you're just looking for um, a spare guitar to have in case you break a string, or if you want a guitar to, you know, to to keep for that odd song in Open G or Dad Gad, or why not just get one and jack the action up on it and use it for bottleneck. It's so cheap, £86, that you really, you know, you can't afford not to have one. I think I'll be uh, getting one, I'll just have to get it past the missus first. And um, yeah, all in all, the Harley Benton MS60 CA Limited Edition, um, great little guitar. Um, I'm probably going to get, be getting myself one and uh, yeah it's absolutely great so we'll leave it there for today I'll just mention as always that if you live on Teesside in the northeast of England and you would like some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition then get in touch with me via the details at the end of this video even if you don't live on Teesside give me a shout anyway because I also now do lessons via Skype and as always here's the mention for the two albums that I've got out at the moment Handles for Forks and The Whiskey Made Me Do It, both of which are absolutely crammed full of bluesy, shreddy, melodic rock guitar playing, and I just know you're going to love them. You'll find a link in the description where you can check them out. And with that, I wish you all a good day, and see you next time. Bye for now, folks.